Well, as we approach probably one of the most important days in Sri Lanka's calendar, which is uh, May 18th, the day our heroic military defeated the ruthless terrorists, the LTTE, the United States of America has decided to blacklist one of our war heroes, current Northern uh, Province Governor and former Naval Commander, Admiral of the Fleet, Vasantha Karanagoda. This would mean he and his wife would not be allowed to enter the United States. I don't know why anyone uh, would choose to go to that hellhole called the United States, more like the United States of delusional wokeness. That, what exactly are those so-called serious and credible human rights violations that the State Department is referring to? And ludicrous enough, the press statement by the State Department cites independent investigations and documentations by NGOs for their conclusions. We may have a government uh, that has decided to dance to the tune of the IMF that are clearly carrying out the US's agenda. However, you better be aware that this country is still full of people that will not stay silent while their decorated war heroes are being trodden on. The people of Sri Lanka needs to wake up as we will discover within tonight's program the grand scheme of the Western overlords is at play and stench of their action pops out at various corners and this is one of them. If this is the modus operandi of the West, we will do what we want and you better comply, then I think Sri Lanka needs to change some of its decisions immediately. The reason why you and I are capable of going home to a safe space in a country free of terrorism is because people like Admiral of the Fleet Vasanta Karanagoda, along with our heroic military, gave their all to save this motherland. I understand that doesn't mean a thing especially to the hoity-toity idiot class of the Colombo liberals. Still, if anyone believes that the sovereignty of Sri Lanka lies elsewhere, apart from the people of our country, they need to be reminded of the reality. If the government doesn't do the needful to address this bullying, they must be reminded to whom the accountability should lie with. We'll be right back. 